Good evening, Freddy Bunch. How is everybody doing today? I'll tell you what, it is Friday, and we are at the end of a very long, very stressful week. I, <laughs> my anxiety is so we are baking this evening. We're having dessert before dinner because Jake's not home and he can't tell me that we need to have dinner first. So, I am making white chocolate lollygags. I'm not a big white chocolate fan. I just, I feel like it's trying to be something that it's not. So, I don't really know how this is going to go, but I had everything that I needed for it and I really felt like baking and I've had such a sweet tooth. So, we're doing it. We're doing this. So, let's get started. Foist things foist. We need four ounces of white chocolate. We need a big microwave safe bowl. This is glass ceramic. And we're just going to break this chocolate into the bowl. Chocolate is ready. I also have half a cup, which is one stick of butter that we're going to cut up to put into this. We're going to microwave this in 20 second intervals, whisking in between each interval until it's melted and smooth. So there's that. Took about a minute. So now we need two large eggs. These are room temperature. <laughs> and we also need two egg yolks. So I have a separate container here that I'm going to keep my wife in because you all know how much I love meringue. So. Now we need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk this until smooth. So there's that. It's a little bit like custard at the moment. Now we need one cup of powdered sugar and half cup of all-purpose flour. I'm also going to add just a pinch of salt just to help cut through the sweetness. Whisk this all together. Voila, there it is. It's looking very yellow. Okay, so I have four four ounce ramekins here. I've got two <laughs> that are round and two that are square because my my dumbass did not think this through. Okay, so this is this is nice and smooth. So I'm going to use my half cup measuring cup because it's four ounces. I'm going to use this to fill up each of our four four ounce ramekins. All right, so here they are. They are relatively even. I'm going to put these in my oven that has been preheated to 425 degrees, and these are going to bake for about 10 to 12 minutes until they're just set, but the middle is still just a little bit jiggly. Okay. Okay, okay. I let these bake for about 12 minutes. Um, after 10, they just seem a little too wiggly. Um, so these are hot, like piping hot. I've got a knife, so I'm just gonna shimmy it around the outside of one of these. definitely needs to bake longer um, because it still tastes like raw flour so while I do appreciate the lava aspect and how nice this looked um, 
little too lumpy. <laughs> um, but I mean, it has a nice taste, so white chocolate isn't overwhelming. It's very subtle. Um, so it just, it kind of tastes like cake with like a ganache sort of frosting. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pop these back in the oven for a few minutes because they are a little bit raw. Um, and then just, you know, enjoy them as my evening goes on. Maybe pop in some Harry Potter or something. I don't know. Drink a glass of wine. I don't know. I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it more than you know. If you are anxious for more content, I post on my Instagram story several times a week of various things that I make, whether it's lunch, dinner, snacks. Um, I'm very active on there, so give me a follow on there. I will link it down below. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and weekend. I already said that my brain is shot, but thank you for everything.